Hello, I'm Kevin Cameron, and in front of me here is the uh, throttle body assembly for the CBR 600. And just wanted to explain a couple of things here. Automotive fuel injection, in general, measures the airflow going into the engine and then supplies the fuel that that mass of air flowing every second requires. So it is an airflow measuring system that automobile fuel injection usually uses. Motorcycle fuel injection um, uses what is called an N-alpha system. It is mapped injection. What it does is they take the t uh, an example of the engine and they run it on a dyno at all different throttle levels, at all different RPMs, and they work out what is the correct fuel mixture for every condition, and then they make a map. They have all the variables, approximately n variables, and the map connects all those variables by supplying a particular amount of fuel in the form of telling the fuel injectors how long to stay open. Now, I showed you before that The air is controlled by this butterfly valve. When you turn the throttle grip, if you have a steel throttle cable, it's actually physically pulling the throttles open. If you have a throttle by wire motorcycle, more modern one, what you're doing by turning the grip is you're telling the computer, I'm just the rider, but I would like 22.5% torque. And then the computer says, in my wisdom, I shall open the throttles this amount in order to carry out your instructions. But this is a more primitive system. This reports the throttle angle, which is called alpha. And the toothed wheel on the end of the crankshaft, which we've been handling here all afternoon, those teeth whiz by another sensor, which reads the passing teeth uh, to determine what the RPM of the engine is. So, with those two pieces of data, the ECU, the engine control unit, looks up in its fuel map, oh please, oh wise one, what is the correct fueling for this condition? And it goes down its list. Okay, here, and so many milliseconds open. And that has been determined on a dyno by actual experiment. And that's called an N-alpha system because it measures mainly throttle angle alpha and engine RPM N and uses a stored map to find out the correct fueling. And when at the races you see the technician with the laptop plug into the bike and start doing mysterious things, they're not mysterious at all. The rider has said, oh, could you do something about that hiccup going into coming off turn eight? Fixes it. So it's a different way of doing things from the old carburetor days, but the end result is the same, trying to get to correct fuel mixture. Another thing that fuel injection systems do for you is they compensate automatically for altitude and temperature, barometric pressure, because they have sensors that measure air pressure. So if you drive up uh, Pikes Peak, you'll have the same fuel mixture at the top that you had at the bottom. You won't have the same power because the air density is lower. And on a cold, high pressure day, your engine will make more power, but it also won't go lean like a carbureted engine does because it has automatic mixture compensation. Digital's got a few things going for it.